are asked to be given with Tess McCaro, Adrian Women's, and the captain. Tess, welcome back to Nationals. Thank you very much. Um, you guys are starting off tonight playing ASU. Uh, just speaking with your coach there moments ago. Huge level of confidence as, as uh, really, you know, I think the defending national champion Liberty, you've had good success about, uh, against them this year. Yes. Tell me about the confidence that you have as a group of ladies coming into this tournament. Yeah, um, I think our team has really like built it from like the get-go. Uh, we are we're super excited. We just watched our men's game last night, and I think that feeling of the win and the success has really built that confidence in us today, and we're just so excited to get going. How much... Um, I watched the game last night. Yeah. Uh, Gary Estellos does an incredible job Amazing. with uh, Adrian, Adrian Mins. Um, you know, and, and from, from the conversations I've had this year, when you have uh, a men's and a women's program in the same school, yeah. I think there's just an intrinsic bond there. Yes. First of all, how awesome is it for, for you to watch your friends win a national championship? It was the greatest feeling. I felt like... It was really nice for us to be there for them as well. I know they would do the same if we were in that exact same position, but I, it was amazing to feel that excitement that they were feeling, and I'm so proud of them. It was so well-deserved. I know they've been really working hard for it. Um, unfortunately, last year they didn't get that chance and that opportunity, so to come back and regain that, that trophy that they deserved, it was amazing. You know, kind, kind, kind of a similar story. Um, last year they lost one nothing in the national championship game. They had the chance for redemption. They came back, national championship game this year. Yes. You guys last year were knocked out of women's by Liberty. You've had success about them. How much of a motivating factor is that for your girls? Oh, it is, is incredible. Like we will sit there and we'll come together and we will look at this opportunity that we have and this chance to come back. And we have it. I know we have it. I have the confidence in my team. I think everybody else has the confidence in each other. So. This is a really exciting moment for us. As the captain and someone that has been here before and you know what it takes to not only compete but be successful at this national tournament, mm -hmm. how, how do you pass that experience along verbally to the, to the ladies that have never been here? It's, it's difficult, but it's not. Um, just being here um, just brings out, I think, the best in everybody. Uh, we have worked so hard. We've put so much time and effort into it. And I just actually sat down with my team right now and I told them, it's like, you just have to sacrifice your body and you have to sacrifice every single moment you have to get here. And to be able to get here and be so good is just like building up that excitement to be here and to work hard and know that we are so close to winning. It's just, it's incredible. It's an, it's an exciting feeling. and. Um, you only have so many opportunities, right? I'm in my third year, and we have been here for these three years that I've been here, and telling them this, like, you only get so many shots at it, really just like boosts their like confidence and their work ethic to be here and to want to get that trophy. I, I, I know you have a meeting, so I'm gonna wrap up with this question. Okay. Young lady from Kitchener, Ontario. You have the opportunity, and interestingly, Matteo De Giulio, men's captain, yeah. Maple, Ontario. Okay, yeah. so so not 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 too far away. No. Tell me about the opportunity to come to the United States, go to university, and play hockey for a young girl from from Ontario. It is actually it's an incredible opportunity. It has grown my independence. It has given me the chance to go to school and get those academics that we truly like deserve and need um, and as well as to be able to come here and play the sport I love who have grown up and like gather this um, this friendship and bond with my teammates it has actually truly like made me feel like I have a second home a second family and it is just so exciting it's exciting to be able to come from a different country and like experience something different and it it's just like built a new person of who I am and I'm so happy to have that opportunity. Well, we are so happy that you're back at Nationals. Thank you. This is uh, Tess McCarrow, Pride of Kitchener, Ontario, Captain Adrian Division One at the 2024 National Championship.